I know that we have so many people around this lake that are concerned about what they can do to help preserve the quality of the water and of their family investment for years to come. If there was one thing that we could encourage them to do as it relates to boating, what would that one thing be? All right, so obviously people come to the lake because they want to recreate. Recreation includes getting in a boat and go skiing and wakeboarding, um, just enjoying being on the water. And what a great way to spend family time. Um, but what happens when a boat motor gets deep enough into the water, it can resuspend some of this phosphorus we've been talking about. And any time that phosphorus is resuspended in the water, it's going to become available to the algae growth. Now, what we don't know, we don't know the level at which that resuspension of the algae in terms of that, of that sediment contributes to algal growth in the lake. But we do know that it, that it does happen. Mm -hmm. Our primary focus still, though, needs to be on shutting that phosphorus path off from the source. And then, of course, just maybe trying to your boat in deeper water mm -hmm. and try to avoid resuspending the sediment. And when you're in the shallower water, make sure that you're planed out. Yes. Yes. That you're not, you know, plowing through with yes. your nose up and your tail dragging, so yes. to speak. That's great advice. <laughs>